Why, hello guys! It's nice to see you guys again. I'm really excited. I just received this bad boy right here. This is the Color Grain Queen of Hearts palette. It is a limited edition palette um, by, of course, the cosmetics company Colored Rain, which is black owned. So, hey, if you guys want to support a black owned business, check this palette out. Um, first of all, I just want to go into a little bit about the palette before I show you guys this look that I created. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe. And also, if you're already a subby, give this a thumbs up. So, this palette here has the most beautiful packaging. It comes with a really nice sleeve. I'll show you guys what that looks like. The sleeve looks like this, and peeking out of here is the Colored Rain logo. It's just gorgeous. I think I'm going to save this because I'm like weird like that. I love brand packaging. When you take the sleeve off, this is what it looks like. It's got that, if you guys know what the NARS packaging feels like with that smooth black whatever it is called it's not like leather or anything but it just feels like luxurious i love the color palette on this the black and the gold screams like high quality now when you open this it's got a little mirror in front if you guys can see that and look at these colors i don't even really know if the camera is translating them as well but they just look so beautiful and they're really really buttery easy to blend if you're a beginner with makeup this is going to be the easiest palette for you to create looks with because you really don't need to do much blending it's really just like super effortless you know the colors really pop on your lids as you guys can see I didn't like really pack on the colors on my eyelids I just like basically you know, dip the brush in, put it on my eyelid, <laughs> and it came out super, super, super packed. So there are, let's count how many shimmers. So there are six shimmers in six matte colors. I love all of the shimmers. They're super pigmented. I will say that there are only a couple when I did finger swatches of the mattes that I had to actually build up on my hand. And that's Princess, uh, Air, Royal Prerogative, and those three were the ones that really needed to be built up. But with the brush, I used Royal Prerogative and that went on really beautifully as a transition color. So I think just swatching it looks a bit different, but when you use your brush, it just disperses really, really nicely. So um, I would suggest that if you guys do want a really pigmented matte color um, out of those three, just add a little bit of Fix Plus to your brush and then apply it using that and I think it'll be just, just fine. Again, I love this palette. I'm not going to ramble on too much. I just want to show you guys what it looks like. And also, um, you know, I want to show you guys this beautiful eye look that I created. The lashes that I'm using are from Flutter Lashes. It's the Eye Slay style. It really has that like flirty look to it and I'm feeling it. It's really high quality lashes and you can just use them over and over again. So I love that. And all right, I'll stop talking and we can get on to the tutorial. So of course, starting off, we should prime our eyes. I always do this. If you guys are new here, I'm using the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish primer. This is my favorite. I have oily lids and it just like it's beautiful <laughs> and then I'm using my Laura Mercier powder I wanted to try something new but honestly I really didn't like this um, usually I use a flesh toned color to just set that but I'm gonna move right into transition I'm using the color royal prerogative and it's this really beautiful subtle brown color it's just gorgeous and I'm using windshield wiper motions to really make sure that's blended in. And I used under brow concealer today, so I wanna make sure there isn't an apparent line underneath both of those. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the color Royal Highness. This is a really cool color. It's like a light purple, um, and it also has a little bit of white in it, so it comes off more white. But I'm using my flat brush, and that, is just gonna be used to lay everything down. 
And FYI, I did get a little bit of fallout um, with some of these shimmer shades, but it's very minimal, so it's fine. Now moving on to the shade Queen Mother. I'm in love with purple, so this was my shade. I'm using a brush from Royal and Langnickel. Um, you guys can check the description box if you wanna know exactly what I'm using. And I'm just basically blending it with the first shade and then kind of making a nice wing at the end. And um, yeah, so it's pretty self-explanatory. You basically just wanna blend. Also, after you're done adding the shade, you wanna use your blending brush to blend the second color, the purple, with our transition color that we added beforehand. That way it looks really seamless. Um, you know, you don't want any harsh lines at all. And now I'm using the widest shade, it's called Crown, and I'm using that to just inner highlight my inner corners of the eyes. And I'm taking a smudge brush and adding that same purple color to my lower lash line. It just looks so pretty. And right here, that's the color Crown again in um, my inner corner. So now I'm doing my eyeliner and I'm using the eyeliner from DHC. I just kind of wanted to breeze through this. I find that this eyeliner pen is really nice. Like you can correct mistakes really easy. And then I'm adding lashes from Flutter Lashes. They are the Eye Slay style. And then I'm just going to add some eyeliner to cover up the band. And this is what the final look looks like. It's very dramatic. Maybe you can wear it on Valentine's Day or a day out with your boo. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this. Leave me any requests that you have down below in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!